Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming kind of a little bit of a different video. I thought that in 2017 I tried a lot of different brands for the first time and I wanted to kind of present to you guys a video summarizing some of the brands I tried in 2017 and telling you if I thought they were thumbs up, thumbs down, or like a meh. Um, yeah, I just thought this would be kind of fun because I film every other day and I didn't really start doing that until towards the end of 2017. But when you film every other day, you do go through a lot of makeup and I know I tried some brands for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead and hop right into it. Uh, really quick though, I will link those videos down in the description box. I have quite a few brands I want to talk about, so I don't think it will all fit in the cards, but if you want to see any of those first impressions or reviews or get ready with me's somewhere I featured these products it's gonna be exciting so keep watching also if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Karen Harris I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me I do hope you will consider subscribing and without further blabber let's get into it so you guys of course I had to make a list on my phone and it's pretty funny I actually did like thumbs up and thumbs down so, so I have 13 brands that I tried in 2017 and so let's just start so the first one is dose of colors now I had heard a lot of things about dose of colors I did decide to purchase some of their product on Ulta's website because they just started carrying dose of colors on Ulta.com I also did make a purchase for the Desi and Katie collection and once I got around to filming my video I had all the products in my hand so I was not a huge fan of dose of colors I do like their lipsticks I think those are worth trying out but as far as their eyeshadow formula I was not impressed the highlighter was okay. I didn't really try any of their glosses. I didn't try any of their lid topper, like Tom Ford type duos that they have. I didn't try any of that. But overall, I was really, really disappointed by their eyeshadow formula because I was really expecting more from them. Just because, like, Desi and Katie, I feel like, are two YouTubers that most people trust. And so I just wanted more from them when it came to that eyeshadow formula. So. I was pretty disappointed in the Dose of Colors brand in 2017. Now the next brand I really dove into in 2017 was Colored Rain. I recently featured them in a Brands I Think You Should Try in 2018 video. And so these were that video was really fun to film because basically I gave you guys suggestions on brands that I had tested out that I thought you should try and kind of talked about my favorite products from the brand and things like that. So I will link that one up in the cards because I think it's a really cool video. Colored Rain honestly like knocked it out of the park for me. I started off with the Queen of Hearts palette. I got two of their mini palettes, the Beauty Rust and the Pinky something, like the mauve one. And then I just recently bought the Cheers to the Beauty palette, which is also a nice palette. But honestly, it's the Queen of Hearts palette that I truly, truly love from them. I also really like their liquid lipsticks and their single eyeshadow formula is really good as well. Also, I have their giant, like, 96-pan holding, uh, like, Z palette that they make. So that is really cool as well. They have a lot of really cool things. So Colored Rain in 2017 got a thumbs up from this girl. The next brand I tried out in the year 2017 was Ace Beauté. Now, I did a first impression, like, try-on video with this palette. It was just one thing that I've tried from them is their quintessential palette. Oh my god, it is so freaking pigmented. If you are balling on a budget and you just want one really easy going eyeshadow palette, I would recommend the quintessential palette. Also, it has some fun pops of color, so you're going to want to check it out. I think it is a beautiful palette and so... Ace Beauté gets a thumbs up from me. I hope they come out with more makeup. I'm really interested in seeing what more they can do for us in the year 2018. Now, the next brand, I feel like I've tried a few things from BH Cosmetics before, but I feel like I really delved in to BH Cosmetics this year, and I got their Zodiac palette, the Carly Bible Deluxe palette, and the It's My Ray Ray palette, and I liked two of the three. I didn't really like the Carly Bible palette, although I did think the deluxe one was better than the original they came out with. I was really impressed with the It's My Rare palette, and I really still need to test out the Zodiac palette. I do have swatch party videos of all of those, and if I have any reviews of those palettes, I will link them down in the description box as well, but 
Overall, I think BH Cosmetics is going to get a thumbs up because they are affordable and they have a wide range of products as well. I might try more stuff from them, but for now, I think I've, you know, given it my best shot and I'm going to keep trying other brands, but I think BH Cosmetics... BH Cosmetics is underdog. I think more people need to try the brand because it's really affordable. Now, the next brand that I kind of went back into, this is not a new brand to me, but Huda Beauty just like came out of nowhere. She had the liquid lipstick, she had the One Rose Gold palette that I was not a fan of. She had eyelashes, but I feel like 2017 was her year. She was just like, bam! And then she came out with the Desert Dust palette, which is honestly a game changer. I love that palette. And she came out with those mini obsession palettes, which are, uh, they're okay. I really do like her foundation. And of course, I fell in love with her liquid lipsticks. And I also love that she does like mini sizes of her liquid lipsticks, which is a great way to also try out her liquid lipsticks and just grow your collection. If you are a makeup collector, you don't really need full size of everything. So I love that she does mini collections because it's a great way to kind of expand your collection. So Huda Beauty, I never thought I'd say this, but she is going to get a thumbs up from me for the year 2017. Now, another brand I tried in 2017 was Col Collab. Collab? I don't know how to say it. Col Collab. It was a collaboration between Sally Beauty and a bunch of different beauty influencers. I picked up two of their eyeshadow palettes and honestly guys, I was not impressed with the eyeshadow palettes, nor was I impressed with Sally Beauty's customer service when I went to return the palettes in store here in my hometown. She was like, oh, I can give you store credit. I'm like, mm, no, that's not going to work. So I called Sally Beauty and the person on the phone was super sweet and talked to the girl in the store and had her return my money back to me, which was really, really great. But it just left a bad taste in my mouth. I don't really, I don't really shop at Sally Beauty, but now I really don't want to shop at Sally Beauty. And the palettes were just very meh. I know they tried to do a little bit for everyone and I feel like the brand didn't really take off. I mean, I saw the influencers they used as part of the collab to talk about the products, but a lot of them I don't follow. The only one I really follow is Coffee Break with Danny, so that's why I bought the two eyeshadow palettes, but after I tried them, I wasn't impressed, so I took them back. So Collab is going to get a thumbs down from me. I would be really curious to know if you guys have tried any of their other products and if you enjoyed them. Definitely let me know in the comments. Maybe there will be a brand I give another try to in 2018. Now the next brand I tried that I haven't tried in a long time is Makeup Forever. And I got that big blush palette that they had. Um, for the holidays and it's phenomenal. I really really like that palette. I can't say like all of Makeup Forever has good products because I don't really like their foundation. I know a lot of people love that like HD foundation and now it's like the 4k foundation and there's a lot of products that people really really like from Makeup Forever but I really haven't hit my stride with them, so I love the blush palette. I'm so glad I picked it up, but there's not much else for me to talk about from that brand, even though they do come out with new things quite often. They also recently reformulated their eyeshadow palettes, or their single eyeshadows that you can use to create eyeshadow palettes. And I was tempted to get one, but I was literally in Las Vegas staring at the display at Sephora, and I was like, I don't want any of these shades. And maybe it's because I need somebody to put the shadows together and be like, buy this, Karen. But I was just like, eh, those singles are like 19 bucks a pop. And I was like, eh, no thank you. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I would give it a thumbs up just for that blush palette. But don't ask me about the rest of the line because I don't have a huge opinion when it comes to Makeup Forever. Now, a brand I absolutely fell in love with in 2017 was Pat McGrath Labs. I believe they had some product come out in 2016. They did a lot of those, like, pigments and things like that. I didn't buy any of those, but as soon as she announced eyeshadow palettes, I was all freaking over it. So I bought her first three eyeshadow palettes. I reviewed those. I will link them down in the description box. And I recently picked up the Mothership 4, which is the Decadence palette, and I actually just swatched it recently. So I'll link that swatch party video too, but those are amazing. I also love her liquid lipsticks that she came out with last year, and also her regular lipsticks. Like, the bullet lipsticks. She has a matte collection which is out of this world. Her mattes are so soft and buttery. Oh my freaking goodness. So 
Pat McGrath gets a huge, Pat McGrath gets a double thumbs up from this girl because her shit is awesome. Plus she is a woman of color. She is a black owned business. I mean, holy crap. And she's a woman. Like what other reasons can you think of to support this lady? And she's a working makeup artist. So yeah, I just love her. I think she's a boss. And yeah, I'm really impressed with Pat McGrath this year. So a brand that's getting a thumbs down from me is Natasha Denona. I tried so many of her eyeshadow palettes this year. Well, not so many, but I tried the Lila palette and the Sunset palette and ah, I just can't make them work. So I'm going to give her a thumbs down. I'll link those videos if you guys are interested in seeing them. I feel like the ColourPop um, Cute AF palette is like an exact do for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. I even swatched them like side by side. I don't know why you would buy the more expensive one. Maybe you're feeling like bad and bougie. The other reason I don't like her eyeshadows are her formula is constantly changing and she isn't keeping her consumers updated. The 5 pan eyeshadow palette that I bought from her originally had a 6 month shelf life. Her eyeshadow palettes now have like an 18 month shelf life. Some of the $230 palettes have a different shelf life, a different formula. I've seen this in YouTube videos where people are reviewing the shadows and they're like oh this one feels different like why is that and why do people still keep buying shit from her like I don't understand Natasha Denona gets a thumbs down from me for the year 2017 okay guys another brand a new brand to me that I tried in 2017 was Models Own now this one launched on Alta's website and it is a UK brand and they came to America, so I was really excited to try out their stuff. Very, very affordable, so I did pick up like an eyeshadow palette, um, maybe like a face palette and some foundation. I was not super duper impressed with the product quality. I, I actually think I ended up returning pretty much everything I tried out. It was not that great, and the eyeshadows weren't that great, and it was just like very meh. And you guys know I don't keep any makeup that I don't like, so Models Own, thumbs down from me. Next brand I tried actually is also a British brand. This is Lottie London, and they started selling on Ulta's website as well. Is Lottie London British? I feel like I'm just saying that because it's called London. Like, can somebody confirm or deny that for me because I'm really not sure. Lottie London is my only, like, meh. Like, I really like the Wing Woman eyeliner from them. I think it's super affordable. I didn't keep anything else from my Lottie London video because I didn't think it was that good quality. So yeah, it's pretty bad, right? I feel like just one product, maybe I should give it a thumbs down. I'll give him a give him a may because that wing woman liner is pretty freaking good. Now, the next brand that I'm gonna give a thumbs down to is Elsie Cosmetics. You guys, I have like bitch about Elsie Cosmetics for way too long. I feel so bad because I know it's like a YouTuber's brand. But, like, what is all the hype about? Like, come on. She doesn't even do free shipping and her shit is so expensive. Like, her foundation, so expensive, not that great. Eyeshadow palette, so expensive, not that great. I bought it because Kathleen Lights recommended the Minimalist palette. And I was like, oh my god, it's so brand. So I bought it. And I just actually ended up selling it on my Poshmark because I think it's not that good. Not for the price I paid for it. Maybe if it was a $20 palette, I could justify it. But... Not for like the 40 something dollars it cost me. So Elsie Cosmetics, thumbs down. And the last brand I wanna talk about in this video is Pretty Vulgar Cosmetics. Now Pretty Vulgar launched as well at Sephora this year. It's a new brand to Sephora. Well, I, you wouldn't call them new anymore, but they kinda of came and they kinda of went. Like, I think their products are still on the Sephora website, but they haven't launched anything new recently. I tried like their eyeshadow palette, maybe like a mascara I don't even know I'll link the video you guys can go check it out but yeah it wasn't good I haven't really seen any youtubers talk about them since they launched I believe live loves their makeup really likes one of their eyeshadow palettes but holy shit that whole brand is a thumbs down for me just watch the video I think that'll really explain <laughs> why I feel the way I feel so yeah that is my last brand that I wanted to talk about in this video Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of different, but basically just to reiterate what I was doing, I was talking about brands that I kind of tried for the first time in 2017. Some of the brands I had tried before a long, long time ago, but I feel like some of them were like, I was just like reintroduced to them. It was a really fun year. There were so many new launches and so many new brands that came out that I tried out for the first time. 
And I have no doubt that I'm going to find even more cool things to try in 2018. Anyway, these are my brands that I tried out in 2017 and I just wanted to give you like a summary of like what I actually thought about them and if I would repurchase from them or not. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me some comments on brands that you discovered for the first time in 2017 and if I should check them out, let me know or if I should stay away from them, let me know as well. I thank you guys so much for sharing your time with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.